So in third grade, we have to study Hudson and the town and the makeup of the town. And one of the big features of Hudson is the Assabet River. It's something tangible that the kids can see when you drive throughout the town. After working with Drumlin Farm for the past school year, we did a lot of thinking and reflecting with my colleagues on how to bring in more of those experiences in the classroom. So I think that the professional development this year was eye-opening. We started in the fall, and I think it was a Wednesday morning, and you brought us outside, and you asked us to find something that intrigued us, or we were curious about. And all the teachers were hesitant to walk outside, and it, I think, was the most powerful professional development I've ever sat through. Well, I think that being outside, first and foremost, really excites them. Their curiosity and love of nature right now in Hudson is pretty extraordinary. Uh, but as a teacher, I feel like it, it gives them a lot of purpose. I mean, on the weekends, anyone can go outside and explore in nature. They can practice being scientists at home. So as we got into our study, we learned, you know, what animals, what plants we can find down by the river. And in the course of our study, we found that there actually were a lot of problems with the Assabet River that sparked a lot of frustration among the students. And for our writing program, we were learning about petitions and how students can write speeches and change the world. And a lot of them decided that writing petitions to help protect the Aspet River was where they wanted to spend their time. Some of us wrote to the president, some of us wrote to the governor, and one of us wrote to chairman. And we explained to them that the Aspet River is being polluted and no one's really, not a lot of people are stepping in and helping. Lucky for them, they did hear a response from the town and even the president. So I think it really hit home that kids can change the world. So at the end of the school year, I would hope that all third graders walk away with a love of science and appreciation for what's outside of their windows and their doors, um, a want to spend time outside and to investigate things outside. But most importantly, through all of our curriculum areas, I hope they see that they can make changes and that even though they're nine years old, they can make a difference.